Let's go back to the early 19th century. The year is 1814. This was a time when industries were growing rapidly and there was a great need to transport heavy goods like coal from mines to ports efficiently. At this crucial moment, a brilliant English engineer named George Stevenson stepped in. In 1814, he developed a steam engine that could pull heavy coal wagons on iron tracks. This was one of the first practical steam locomotives, and it was a major breakthrough in transportation. Now you might wonder, weren't steam engines already invented by that time? Yes. In fact, James Watt, another famous engineer, had improved steam engines back in the 1760s. But there was a big difference. Watt's steam engine was stationary. It stayed in one place and was mainly used to pump water out of coal mines or run factory machinery. It made the Industrial Revolution possible, but it couldn't move itself. George Stevenson's engine was different. It was a locomotive, a steam engine on wheels that could move on rail tracks. His invention allowed coal to be hauled from mines to ports using railways, making the process faster, cheaper, and more reliable than before. This development marked the beginning of the railway age, which would soon transform not only Britain, but the entire world. Thanks to George Stevenson, steam-powered locomotives became the driving force behind modern transportation. In summary, Watt's engine stayed still, powered machines. Stevenson's engine moved on tracks, powered transport. 